Hello, hello, welcome back to this very exciting video. So my FML albums have finally arrived. This is 17's 10th mini album, their comeback. And I think it took so long to ship because there was more than 4 million pre-orders. So I'm so, so, so proud of them for um, breaking so many records. So I've bought two sets of the albums and then I've also got a kit album here. And then I've also got the pre-order benefits from K-Town For You. So these are the mini L holders. I will get to them first, actually. So let's see um, which mini L holders we got. So because I got seven albums, I believe I got seven of these holders. All right, so we got a group one and we got two group ones. I hope there's like some member ones as well. So these L holders are perfect sizes for actual photo cards. All right. So I got two group ones, and then I see a different one. Okay, so we got a Jong Han. Next up, we got a Dino. I'm really hoping that there's someone from my bias line. I hope there's Jun or uh, Ming Hao. All right, next up, we got Vernon. What do the back looks like? Uh, okay, so these backs are green. And then this back is like blue. All right. Next up, I did see we got Hoshi. I pulled my friend's bias line already. <laughs> and next up, we got a Joshua. Last but not least, I see black hair, so I don't think it's Jun. We got Mingyu. All right. So I did not get any Juns, but this is uh, who I got. So I will be trading these L holders for Jun and Hao. So hopefully I can find some trades. But yeah, these are the pre-order benefits that I got from K-Town For You. Next up, I'm actually really, really excited. I want to unbox the kit album first because there is one photo card from the kit album that I really, really want. So I'm going to do a kit album first. Alrighty, so basically I just moved the FML albums to the side. And I really wanted to unbox this kit album. So let's open up the shrink wrap. And you guys can probably guess the photo card that I really want is the June one. Um, okay, so it's a very nice matte feel. And it's the green color. So the green color is the um, Fallen Misfit Lost version in the normal album. So it's the same size as just your regular kit. And then the back is the grey colour. Alright, let's have a look at uh, what we've got. Alright, so no photo card yet. I think the photo card will be under this piece of paper. And not yet. <laughs> Alright, next piece. But um, let's have a look at this. This is really, really pretty. I really like this uh, concept. So we've got like a profile picture for each of the members. So this is a postcard. All right, and then we've got the instructions on how to use the album. Now that I think about it, normally the photo card is under the actual um, kit album. So this is the kit album. Very pretty, you plug it in and you can listen to uh, all the music. We'll take this out. Is the photo card under here? I think that might be a photo card. All right, so yes, indeed, we have the photo card. And let's see who it is. All right. And we got, we got Sungwan. Okay, we didn't get my bias line, but I'm going to trade for Jun. I really want that Jun where he's holding the, I think he was holding like, like a clock thingy or like a um, stopwatch. I really want that one. Yes, so we got Sungwan for the kit. And we can have a look at all of the postcards inside. All right, okay, so um, Jun is in the, at the top for this one. And yeah, all the backs are the same. This is so pretty. I remember this was one of the teaser photos. And he's just so gorgeous. And then we got how Okay, so I guess like my bias line is 
at the top of this pile. So pretty. It's really, really beautiful. Got Dino. I love these uh, reflection photos. Got Hoshi. Sungwan. DK. Wanu. Mingyu. S. Coops. Vernon. Hani Johan and Joshua. Am I missing anyone? I think that might be. Oh, Uzi. Uzi as well. And those are all of the postcards for the kit album. I'm going to put them face up now. Alrighty, so we got a Sungwan photo card, and I will be trying to trade him for a Jun. Wish me luck. I hope I can find a trade. Alrighty, so I've just zoomed in a little bit. So we're going to unbox the first FML regular album now. This is the Fallen Misfit Lost version. Alright, so as I said before, it is a really, really like almost creamy matte texture. I really like it. So this is the front, the side, side, Fallen Misfit Lost. I think these albums will look really nice on my shelf. And then this is the back, even though this is technically the lid. Oh, it feels so nice and creamy. All right, so let's open up this one. I think I will need to take out the photo cards first. Okay, so this is everything that you get inside the album. I've taken the cover off. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, actually. Okay, so let's have a look at the photo book last. So here we've got the track list. And it's just a simple booklet. So my favorite song by far out of this album is... Sono Kong, so Sun Wukong, I'm going to say in Chinese, because that's literally like the first thing I heard when I heard the title of this song. Um, and then Junha has been, or at least Jun has been like explaining the song uh, when he was doing his Weibo lives. So I can kind of appreciate it from like the Chinese perspective, because um, I watched Sun Wukong when I was growing up as a kid. I think every Chinese kid has watched it growing up, so it's like really special to me. Uh, then this is, oh, this is a poster. I will zoom out a bit. So yeah, this is the poster for Fallen and Misfit Lost. So I think it's like similar to the kit photo that we got. So like everyone has their little profile picture. I think it's really nice. And it's the same matte texture. So we've got the poster and the back is just white. Alrighty, and then let's have a look at the photo book. Zoom in again. All right, so this is the front side and back. Fallen and Misfit Lost. So yeah, I did see the behind photos of this and I think they actually filled this room with freezing cold water. I was like, I feel kind of bad for them that they have to shoot in freezing cold water and bare feet. But yes, hello Ginny. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I really, um, I really missed him for the past couple of months because he had a hairstyle that I didn't really like. Um, it was like this, what do you call it? Like an Oreo kind of two-toned hairstyle. I'm trying not to let it reflect, but I think this is good. 
but he is he dyed his hair brown again um recently so yeah i'm starting to like him again and this is how oh my gosh yes i like how my two biases are in the front as soon as i open this photo book oh he's gorgeous so yeah how ever since maybe last year um during hot era he did kind of overtake Wano and Mingyu as my second bias so I got China Line as my top two biases now we have Dino wow they're actually standing in that water so the way I understand this concept for this album is kind of like your lifestyle in this world this world which is very um nepotistic you know focused on achievements and material wealth so i think this first concept is like when you're in your home relaxing but you can't relax because there's water rising all around you i think that's like a metaphor for the pressures that we feel all the time um so that's just the way that i kind of uh interpreted this concept and then we've got like the next version, which is the office worker version, which is your life when you are in the office. Um, so moving from home to the office. And then last one, fight for my life, is the boxing ring concept. And I kind of think the boxing ring concept is, you know, 17 and also people in general trying to take control of their lives and then trying to break free from what is societally acceptable. Oh yes, very pretty. We've got Wanu. And I believe there's a photo of Wanu holding biscuits. Okay, not holding biscuits, but there are these biscuits next to him. And I actually saw one of the 17 fashion pages. They found the brand of these biscuits and I saw someone in the US was doing a group order for those biscuits. Right. Very, very pretty Mingyu. He cut his hair now thought that was important to say so yeah i think my favorite uh track from this album is super and the other tracks i didn't like them so much when i first heard them but now um the performance unit track i don't understand but i love you is also growing on me a lot and after the performance uh, unit track i think uh fml the other title track. I also really, really like it. I'd say this album in general, like music wise, is not super stand out to me. Like it's just great music from Seventeen as always, but the songs are not cult favorites for me. Like they're not songs that are on my on repeat playlist, apart from Super. Super is on my on repeat playlist. But I do find it amazing how they broke so many records and they got so many pre-orders. I think it might be because of all the POBs, but also because they gained so many fans from their hot era, from the Face of Sun era. I do definitely feel like this is a new era of Seventeen. Like, they're so mature and they're um, exploring issues that face, like, adult working carrots, like, working age, you know, working full-time. Um... So I do think uh, 17's concepts are growing with carrots, as carrots are also growing up. So that's something that I really, really appreciate. Alrighty, so that was the end of the Fallen Misfit Lost photo book. I have trouble remembering the names of the versions sometimes. Okay, um, and then let's have a look at the inclusions we got. So first off, we do have the QR code. And then there's not that many inclusions this time, I guess because it's a mini album. But first off, we have a bookmark. So this is a Jonghan bookmark. Bookmark is kind of interesting as well. It's not like your typical bookmark, but it's a thing that goes like this. So it's like a corner bookmark thing. It's pretty cool. Um, I've never seen anything like this, but we got a Jonghan. 
All right, next up is a um, sticker. And for the sticker, we got a Mingyu. So I'm, I guess I'm not too focused on the sticker and the bookmark. I'm more thinking about the photo cards. All right, so the first one we got, it has number 17 on it. Uh, I don't think it will be Jun then. So the first one we got is a Hoshi. So he's doing Horong Hei, Horong Hei. <laughs> nice, we got Hoshi. And I am, I guess I'm not too excited about who I pull because I know that I'll be trading and getting a lot of fanzine albums as well. Next up we got, oh, we got S-Coops. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So they're wearing like the same outfit. But we got an S-Coops and we got a Hoshi. Nice. So that's my first um, green version. Next up, let's move on to the pink version. Okay, so this is the next version. This is the faded mono life version. So this is what I like to call the office worker version. And let's unbox the shrink wrap first. Alrighty, so again, very, very creamy matte consistency on the album. So this is the front, oh, side, 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 and back. So let's open up this one. I do like to open it this way. I feel like it's easier. Oh, I forgot to do the CD plate for the other version. Wait, wait a second. I kind of didn't realize that the CD is here, but this is like a very dark pink purplish CD. And then I'll open the green one. The green CD plate is actually a black CD plate. So yeah, okay. Um, I've shown the CD plates. Um, let's get back to the pink version. And I'll take out all the inclusions first. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure the lyric book and the... Well, the lyric book is the same. So I'll just flip through that quickly. That is the lyric book. And then let's have a look at the poster. The poster will be different. Oh, the poster is really pretty. Okay, so the poster is... Um, it is a little bit different to the green version. So this is the faded mono life version of the poster. Um, same layout. It's just the members are in different positions. I like how Jun has it always together. And then... Yeah, and then, oh, Meanies together. I feel like they, do they do, like, the popular ships together? I'm not sure, but, yeah, so we've got, like, my four bias here. And it's a very pretty dusty pink, and it is the Office Worker version. Alrighty, let's have a look at the photo book. So this is the front, the side, and the back. I think... Just from looking at the teaser photos, I would say this version is my favorite. They had these really interesting little videos of them doing like office work activities and I thought it was really funny. Um, so, all right. Oh, very pretty, yes. So I really like this concept. This concept is so relatable because I also um, work nine to five in an office now. I like the product placement of the Apple. <laughs> So we've got Jonghan. I will say that their outfits are not so like they're not so formal. But I really like what they're wearing. And also shorts are not a thing that you wear in the office. Like we're allowed to wear anything except shorts, which is really interesting. Alright, got Sungwan. Sungwan looks like he belongs here. Then we have DK. I I kind of feel like DK would have been laughing as he took these photos. Also, no shorts. Jail time for you. You're not allowed to wear shorts in the office. Then we have Shua. He looks like he belongs here, I think. I like this setup as well. So yeah, I really like how they thought about... Um, the fact that carrots are mainly working age now in their 20s and i like how they made concepts that suit um what they're doing 
oh, so it's performance unit. I mean, what am I saying? It's not performance unit. It's um vocal unit. So I think these are ordered by units then. That's cool. It's cool that they have so many members and that they can arrange their photo books in a different order. All right, so this is the performance unit then, if it's Dino. Then we have Hal. Oh, he looks great. But he looks a bit more like a detective rather than an office worker. I think they, I think they enjoyed doing this concept a lot. Got Ginny. So yeah, this is the hairstyle that I wasn't too keen on. Um, I don't really like two-toned hair. I feel like you should just um, pick one color. At least that's what I would do. Um, but yeah, I do like his vest that he's wearing. We have Hoshi. And wow, this is interesting. <laughs> So yeah, we've got performance unit. I also will say that um, since I started unboxing a couple of other groups' albums, I also noticed that I really like Seventeen because they have 13 members, and I like how each person just has a couple of pages of photos. Wow, he looks great. He looks like a CEO. Oh, so pretty. I love his fluffy black hair. Got shredding, shredding things. Very relatable. Then we have Mingyu. Mingyu looks definitely like a CEO. But I find it interesting that no one is wearing like a proper suit. Everyone's kind of just wearing um, jumpers and slightly more casual everyday wear for the office not like you're going to a client meeting or something so i do think it's more like a comfy office i really like um looking at these photos i think i'll go back and have a look at the details of the photos later see if anything's out of place but yeah i think it's so interesting and it's very old-fashioned because you've got like these phones that no one uses anymore and that is oh that's so cool so they arrange the desks in like 17 logos. That is super cool. So yeah, that is the um, faded mono life version. Now let's have a look at the inclusions that we got. Alrighty, so where's my QR code? Um, I guess, okay. Um, we didn't get a QR code for this one. That's kind of disappointing. Hmm, that is really disappointing. Um, anyway, so the sticker, we got a Mingyu. We got a Mingyu again for the sticker. Cool. All right, then the bookmark. Bookmark, we got Woozy. Got a Woozy for the bookmark. Then we have two photo cards. This one also says 17. Um, okay, so I guess they all have 17 on the backs of one of them. So this one, we've got Dino. All right, no bias line so far, but we got Dino for this one. Then for the pink back, for the pink back, we got Hoshi. And we got Hoshi doing the hair again. I've got two Hoshis so far. So that is cool. Um, lots of performance unit, because I keep saying performance unit um but yeah that's my pulls for the pink version Alrighty, and then last but not least this is the fight for my life version let's open the shrink wrap for this one all right so again we've got my favorite texture this is the creamy matte type texture so fight for my life and they're in a boxing ring this is like the 17 logo so yes, these are the sides, side, 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 and then this is the back. So let's open up this one. And then this blue CD is the CD plate. And then I will just take out all the inclusions first. 
Alrighty, and then let's have a look at this album. So, same thing, this is the lyric book. Yep, that's the lyric book. And then let's have a look at the poster. Oh, I like this one. Alrighty, so... This is the poster for Fight For My Life. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Um, because it's not the, like, profile pictures, one by one. I like how they're all in the same frame. And then let's have a look through the photo book. Alright, so this is the front side and the back. Just from looking at the colorway, I think this version is the kind of like main version. It's the album art that made it onto Spotify and everything. So let's have a look at this one. Oh yes, very pretty. So this does remind me of the Pioneer version of Face the Sun. Um, so kind of like how Pioneer was the version number five and it was like the most free version so it went from control all the way to pioneer i also think this album has like a similar version progression so it kind of moves from um uh what was it fallen misfit lost where they're trapped at home and then the faded mono life where they are in the office and now they've like broken free and they're in the boxing ring so yeah my interpretation again. I think this might be an age order. Wow. He looks great with long hair. Yeah, I think it's an age order. Wow. I've been really looking forward to looking at these albums. Every day I've been waiting for them to arrive. And when I got the message that they arrived today, I was so happy. And I just had to do an unboxing video as soon as I could. Oh, Jun. Jun, I really don't like this hair. I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, I really missed seeing his face. And um, I'm, I really like how he went back to the brown hair. And I'm so, so, so happy with all of their music show performances. All right. Then we have Hoshi. Oh, I think these shoes are really interesting. They're like Converse, but they're really, really high. So yeah, I have been watching Super. I want to talk about Super, actually. Um, I really like Super. It's not the song that I was expecting. Um, because um, for me, like Hot from their previous comeback was the pinnacle. And I'm not even sure why I like Hot. Hot is not really the genre of music that I go for. But I loved Hot so much. It honestly changed my life. Um, so I was honestly thinking that they can't surpass Hot in any way. And then they came out with Super. And I was like, Super is amazing. <laughs> um, because Super, the genre, is so different from anything that they've done before. It is more oriental. Because it is about Sun Wukong. Um, but... I really, really like how they did it, and I just, Super is not, I wouldn't say Super is better than Hot, I would just say it's different, and just as good and equal, oh my god, he looks so good, pause, he looks amazing, so yeah, I do really, really like Super, I've, it, because it's new, I've been listening to it more than Hot, but we'll see in a couple of months if I'm still listening to Super as much as Hot. I will also say that, in my opinion, Ming Hao has the killing part in Super. <laughs> you know that part in the middle of the song where it just pauses and then he walks out into the middle. Like, wow, it's so, so, so amazing. And of course, the stage for Super is also really amazing. The fact that they already have 13 members, I thought that would be enough to make a massive stage. And then they went ahead and got like 20 or 30 backup dancers. And I watched the dance practice in that gym. They had to film it in a gym, I can't believe. And then like all of the intricate formations that you see and the fact that they organized so many people to dance perfectly in sync 
is just so amazing to me. I really, I'm so incredibly, incredibly impressed by the things that Seventeen does every single comeback, which is why I honestly love them so much. I will say for the past three months, um, I kind of stopped following Seventeen because I was watching Boys Planet like crazy. But with this comeback, I am slowly getting back into them. And I'm just so, so glad to be a carrot. I'm honestly amazed. I also think Vernon looks amazing. Wow, like this jacket suits him a lot. They are all so incredibly handsome, this comeback. I feel like, you know, for some idols, they try not to age. And for some idols, they take on mature concepts too quickly. But I feel like Seventeen knows exactly what they need to do every single comeback. They alter their concept and do something different every single comeback. But it also suits them and where they are at so much. And that's why I love Seventeen. <laughs> and they are forever my favourite group in K-pop. Alright, that was a very uh, detailed rant. But yeah, that is the Fight For My Life version. Um, let's have a look at what photo cards we got now. So yeah, this one does have a QR code. Thank God. <laughs> All right, and then the sticker we got. Oh, we got half of the sticker. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> we got a half sticker. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm like slowly starting to collect more how thing because I just think he looks great. And he's so popular. Like his stuff his slots in my group orders get claimed so quickly now. Now the bookmark is DK. Oh, I realise. I realise for the bookmark it says here who the bookmark is. But we got DK for the bookmark. Then the two photo cards. For the 17 back one. We got... We got Hoshi again. Oh, okay, so we've pulled one Hoshi for every single album so far. Got a Hoshi. And then the second one. We got S Coops again. I think I got Hoshi and S Coops this exact uh two people combination for the previous no 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 for the first green album as well. So Hoshi and S Coops, wow, that is amazing. Okay, I do really love how they look, but I'll probably be trading to my biases. Wow, okay. Um, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to um, open the extra set that I bought and just have a look at what photo cards we can get from them. Alright, so first up is my extra green copy. Alrighty, so for this one... Here are my inclusions. We've got QR code. We've got... A Mingyu, another Mingyu for the sticker. Then for the bookmark, we got another Zhonghan for the bookmark. I feel like they didn't mix these very well. Then for this one, we got we got uh, another Hoshi Horanghe. I'm getting Deja Vu. I think this might be S Coops. Oh, we got Vernon. <laughs> okay, we got Vernon. All right, we got Vernon and Hoshi. For this one because I do remember in the Face of Sun albums I pretty much got exactly the same pulls okay so that is the extra copy of the green version then let's have a look at the extra copy of the pink version alrighty Please, I would love to get a June. I would love to pull just one June or one Minghao or just different members to be honest. Alright, so for this version, does this version just not come with a QR code? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so for the sticker, we've got uh, Mingyu. Then for the bookmark, I see already we got Woozy. The same combo as before, Mingyuzi. Then for the first photo card, I would just like someone different, please. Oh, we got Mingyu. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> yes oh my gosh there's a there's a cabinet behind me and i just like smacked my arm against the door we got mingyu and he's doing the heart so you can like well my hand's too big but like you can complete the heart complete the heart yeah we got a mingyu i do collect mingyu so i'll be keeping this one then the second one we got will this be different we got a hoshi horonghe yes i remember this one but yay so it seems like one photo card will change per version so we got a mingyu and a hoshi nice the enemies in mafia game <laughs> but very nice we got someone different Alrighty, and then the final fight for my life version As I said in the other versions, I would just like someone different so that I can have a variety of photo cards to trade. Alrighty, so for this one, let's see who we've got. Got the QR code. Got a Dino. Did I get Dino last time? But we got a Dino for the bookmark. Then for the sticker, we got a Mingha again. Yep, yeah, Mingha again. Then the first 17 back photo card is Hoshi again. Yeah, Hoshi again. The same one as well. Then for the second one, I would just like someone different. We got S Coops again. Yes, so I think these two are exactly the same. But yeah, that's who I pulled for my uh, FML albums. <laughs> Alright, I will cut to... I'll show you guys all of the pulls that I got. Alrighty, so here are just the albums uh, as is. And I'll show you guys the uh, photo cards that I pulled for each album. So firstly for the kit, we've got ASM1. Then for each of these versions, um, this is what we pulled. Okay, so these are my pulls for 17's new comeback FML. I hope you guys really enjoyed this unboxing and also me ranting about what I think about the comeback and the concept. And enjoy this comeback. I will have a lot more unboxings when I receive my fan sign albums. I'm going for fan signs again. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.